Service members from across the country have the opportunity to work with medical professionals at a northern New Jersey hospital. The name of the game is teaching service members about the latest in medical technology so they can apply the lessons learned while in the field. Here's more. Today is a proud day for one dozen service members. The 12 men and women are part of the latest graduating class of Operation Hackensack SMART, which stands for Strategic Medical Asset Readiness Training. Over the course of the past two weeks, the service members worked with doctors and other medical experts and Hackensack UMC, learning about some of the latest cutting-edge medical technology. The service members received training in several departments, including the operating room, emergency medical services, behavioral health, and radiology. Those involved with the program say the skills these soldiers have learned will allow them to be prepared for the most highly intense situations on the battlefield. We are passionate to make sure our soldiers are ready so they can take care of the soldiers that they need to take care of should they need to go forward. Um, it helps those soldiers get that real world hands-on experience prior to um, going into a theater. Um, it, it, it lets them get that experience now instead of maybe um, in a future. Operation Hackensack SMART began in June of 2017. Since then, dozens of service members from different branches of the military have spent the two weeks soaking up knowledge from hospital staffs. And now that their two weeks is up, participants say they're feeling mixed emotions. It's actually a bittersweet thing. Uh, it's very bitter in the fact that the program's ending so soon. Uh, it was very sweet for the fact that we were here for two weeks doing incredible things with such amazing people and such a broad wealth of knowledge. Hackensack University Medical Center was the first hospital in the country to offer a program like this. Reporting in Hackensack, New Jersey, I'm Daniel Connors for WNBC News.